excited about this. I have got two left feet. I am an embarrassment. Is there something that can cater to me between the 23rd and 26th of March at Mother City Hop? Of course. We have a, we have a special, as you said, a beginner track. Um, it's called a, well, we've, we've branded it as a beginner swing weekend, but basically there's a ticket especially for beginners called the beginner light ticket, if I could say that word anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, no, t of course. Fantastic. Where does this, where does this come from? It, the, the only one of its kind on the continent? Yeah, so it was inspired by a festival that we visited a, a couple of years ago in, in Istanbul. And uh, my husband and I traveled for the first time for a Lindy Hop Festival, and we were very, very inspired when we decided we wanted to bring this back to Cape Town and introduce the global Lindy Hop community to, to our mother city. And it's specifically Lindy Hop, is it? It is specifically Lindy Hop. So Lindy Hop is the granddaddy of swing dances. It came out of the 1930s and 40s in Harlem, New York, and it sort of evolved out of the Charleston, the dance mm. of the Charleston. And yeah, it's, so it's specifically Lindy Hop and jazz, but when we social dance Lindy Hop, it, we mix a whole bunch of things up. We mix in some Charleston and jazz, and we dance specifically to music from that era. So you're, you're holding uh, workshops across the... Whereabouts are you holding these workshops? That We should ask that. So we've got different venues around the city for the workshops because they're running in parallel for different levels from beginner to advanced. We're, we'll be at Youngblood, the Alliance Francaise, Spin Street Restaurant, On Point, Dance Theater, and I'm just missing, or there's a church hall on Curve Street. Okay, okay. Uh, and so workshops for, for, for different levels um, from and featuring top international teachers. Where have you yeah. sourced these top international <laughs> teachers from? Well, one of them is coming from Australia. She's one of she's one of the most well-known Lindy Hop teachers in the world. She taught with what we call one of the old timers back who who was dancing back in the 1940s. That's Ramona Staffeld. Um, we've got teachers coming from Sweden and from the USA and from South Korea. Now, if somebody's sitting at home thinking, that sounds like just the kind of thing that I'd like to get involved in, uh, but they, like me, they've, they've either got absolutely no experience or they've got two left feet. What you can turn up, what are the kind of shoes that one needs to wear? I'm asking this because there'll be people at home thinking, I want to go, but what shoes do I wear? <laughs> well, you know, comfort is king. I, I, you know, whatever is comfortable for you, especially uh, shoes that aren't too sticky, that don't grip the floor. Um, I like wearing just sneakers, like Tommy Tackies or Keds. Okay. Those are more, most comfortable for me. I don't wear heels personally, but um, you, one can wear heels, like small heels. Now, is this the type of dancing where people are going to be flinging one another over each other's heads? <laughs> um, well, not, not in the classes, but there's okay. one very special pace for class, an air step class that is open to more advanced dancers, where we'll be learning how to do air steps. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I won't. I won't be for this year specifically. I won't be for that one. But but I'm thinking if you hold it next year, I may well have Lindy hopped my way through the rest of the year. I hope so. And will be. What did you call it? Air air stepping. Air step. Yeah. I will That's be air stepping. Aerial. So we, we sort of throw each other into the air instead of lifting each other into the air. Muriel, I need no further encouragement. This time next year, it's you and me air stepping our way. <laughs> stepping our way into winter. There's I, actually, I wanted to say there's one party that's open to the public. If people don't want to come and take workshops, but they just want to come and spectate and see some professional performances, yes. there's a party on the Saturday night that is very much open to the public. It's a 50s themed party called Jitterbug Rock. Okay. And people can come along and have dinner and watch some great dancing. Scar Hair is going to be there offering some 50s dues. Okay. And there'll be swing music on vinyl and pro performances by all the teachers. And as I said, dinner and a full bar. Muriel, it sounds absolutely wonderful. I personally cannot wait to get my dancing shoes on and my dancing tackies. Thank you so much for joining us. That's Muriel Argent, uh, organiser of the Mother City Hop.